Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, Carla, muchísimas gracias. Thank you for that very kind introduction. But it is you and your fellow students that inspire me. You represent the limitless, yet sometimes latent potential that exists around the world. And I know you will achieve great things. President Daisy, I love that name. It's my daughter's name, my eight-year-old daughter's name. You know that, right? <laughs> If I was asked to describe you, it would be fiercely good, fiercely compassionate, fiercely committed. Your leadership counts for so much, and you help so many. Leadership counts. It counts. Gracias. Thank you. Members of the faculty, administration, students, parents and friends. I am deeply grateful to be honored here tonight. Thank you. But, quite frankly, it is I who should be honoring you. Why? Because you've had to fight harder than most. You've had to dig deeper than most because you've had to face challenges that are invisible to many, yet so vividly visible to you. But here we are. Our communities like these and community colleges like this have for too long been overlooked or undervalued. It is no coincidence that the word community is woven into the name of this school and indeed into each of your hearts. And I'm glad, and I celebrate that, because your community needs you. And you, the graduates here today, will be the catalyst for change. It In great part because of this college. This is just one of the reasons I was so proud and welcoming of the opportunity to be here today. But how to begin? Well, great athletes achieve what they do as a result of many things. They train, they practice, they take care of themselves, all underwritten with an iron will. But they also do something simple. They visualize. They concentrate on actually seeing themselves running that fast, jumping that high, kicking that goal, or catching that pass. They see themselves. They visualize themselves doing what must be done, and then critically, they expect it of themselves. It is very hard to accomplish anything of true value if you cannot first see and then expect it. And I believe Hostos has given you the tools to do precisely that. And when I walked the halls of Hostos a few months ago, as I passed so many students, what did I see? I saw hopeful eyes, eyes full of purpose and possibilities. Now look, I am a Greek-American, so how can I not go back to those wise and visionary souls of yesterday who were so instructive in the construct of so much of today? Thucydides, one of the greats, he said many great things, one of which was we should remember that one man or woman is much the same as another, and that he is best who is trained in the severest school. Best from severe. The notion that when the school of life is severe, 
you can become better. You can become stronger. And you can become more resilient. A profound concept that has resonated throughout time. Now we at Libra, we have built our organization all these years by empowering people long overlooked. Young people, the underdog, women. Where others see visible disadvantages, we see invisible advantages. Sometimes in life, settings can end, setbacks can end up as blessings in the same way blessings can end up as setbacks. It is only history and hindsight alone which define which. And so my point is, how we think of ourselves is up to us. The last vestige of human freedom in this world is how we react to adversity. Remember to the graduates, the one thing that you have absolute control over is how you elect to respond. No one can take that from you. Your first line of offense is how you think of yourself. The last line of defense is how you choose to respond. Now you are here because of the grit and determination your circumstances instilled in you, right? That toughness will serve you well when others melt under the heat of competition and adversity. You are no longer a minority. You are the growing, deserving majority. A ma a majority with the mindset to create new solutions to problems that have plagued us in the past and await us in the future. And let me not overlook the faculty and administration. And this is something we discussed all those months ago. Let me challenge you with this idea. Going forward, how about operating this college with the mindset but if someone in the not too distant future is presented with the choice between Harvard and Hostos, that person will have to pause and think about it before answering. Now, as I drove myself home after my first visit to Hostos, I thought of something. Something that all the fiercely hopeful eyes that I saw that day reminded me of. And this is partly to the Greeks in the room as well. In the summer of 2011, 12 years ago, a young 25-year-old Greek student called Fanis, who was working for my brother one summer in Greece, approached him on the last day of his job. Fanis asked him, Mr. Logotheris, would you have 10 minutes to meet with me? My brother said, of course, shall we meet now? Fanis then said, yes, but before we meet, I need 10 minutes, please. So my brother said, okay, no problem. Fanis disappeared, then reappeared 10 minutes later, showered, shaven, wearing a suit with a briefcase in hand. Mr. Logotheris, the only reason I took this job for the summer and worked here is in order to meet you now for these 10 minutes. I'm an engineer, trained in America. I put myself through school there. My brother Aleko came to America, cleaned tables at night to help pay for my tuition. I'm a very ambitious person. I'm a very dedicated person, but I have limited hope. This is 2011 in Greece, where hope was in short supply. Please give me an opportunity to work in a group company of yours anywhere in the world. I will work hard. I will be honest. I will not disappoint you. 
On the contrary, I will surprise you. My brother was naturally taken aback. Fanis was given that opportunity. He is now the CEO of a renewable energy business of our group. It gets better. Leading dozens of people with operations in four countries. He was given the opportunity to have the opportunity. And look what he did with it. And what was the school in America? Kingsborough Community College. All CUNY schools are family. So as I walk through the halls of Hostos, I have seen many fannies. I see what Hostos has given all of you, the chance to find your own opportunity. Use it wisely for your own benefit, the benefit of your family and the benefit of your community. They've been waiting for you. And please let me end by congratulating you all on your tenacity, resilience, I told you, accomplishment, and the opportunities you've created for yourself ahead. And thank you, thank you for the incredible honor of letting me stand here today before you. Muchas gracias, thank you.